When changing film for the Pinnacle 27 laminator, you will first need to ensure the new rolls of film are installed properly before threading the film through the machine. There are two ways to thread film, using either the existing film in the machine to feed the new film through, or by using a threading card. When loading film into the laminator where there is no existing film over the heat shoe, you will need to use the threading card method. First, let's explore the method of using existing film for threading. Preheat the laminator until the ready light illuminates. Remove the feed table by first disengaging the locks on both ends. Your laminator will automatically power off once the feed table is removed. Without removing the heat shield, cut the remaining top and bottom films between the rolls and heat shoe. You now have film remaining intact on the heat shoe detached from both the top and bottom rolls. Remove the heat shield. Remove the bottom film shaft by gently pushing the right end of the shaft into the pinnacle and releasing from the left. Remove the bottom film roll from the shaft by unscrewing the left core chuck then slide the existing film off of the shaft. Check the right core chuck to ensure it is screwed into the correct pre-drilled hole for your film width. Place the new film into the shaft with the glossy side out and the film unrolling from the bottom towards the back. Slide on and tighten the left core chuck. Replace the bottom film shaft by gently pushing the right end of the shaft into the pinnacle first, then slide the left end of the shaft into place. Unroll enough film from the bottom roll to tack onto the existing film on the heat shoe, leaving a little slack. Replace the feed table and re-engage the locks on both ends. Now remove the top roll of film in the same way. When placing the new roll into the shaft, the glossy side should be out, with the film unrolling from the bottom towards the operator. Secure the top film shaft into place. Unroll enough film to tuck under the idler bar onto the heat shoe over the existing film. Replace the heat shield. Turn the pinnacle on. Select the proper film type by pressing the NAP1 or NAP2 button and allow the machine to warm up. When the ready light illuminates or the audible alert sounds, set the dial to 1 and press run. To ensure proper feeding, both the old and the new films must advance at the same time. Any separation between the films will require repositioning of the film over the heat shoe. After newly threaded film has completely exited from the rear and the output is clear, press stop. Trim off the excess film from the rear with the built-in trimmer. Now you're ready to laminate. Let's now explore the other method of film threading by using a threading card. This method also works best when the laminator is preheated. Look for the threading card that is enclosed inside the packaging. You can also use a manila folder or any letter-sized cardstock to substitute the threading card. Remove the feed table and the heat shield. Replace the bottom roll and the top roll following the same steps as described earlier. Unroll enough film from the top roll to tuck under the idler bar and drape over the heat shoe. Now lift the bottom film up and drape over the top film on the heat shoe. Install the feed table and the heat shield. Turn the machine back on, select the proper film type, and again allow the machine to warm up. Set the dial to 1 and press run. Slide the threading card into the laminator and allow it to feed completely through. Once the card exits from the rear and the output is clear, push stop. Trim off the excess film from the rear with the built-in trimmer. Your film is now installed. 